Splatfest four months in a row, technically, since the Alien Splatfest, which we did not do too well on, went into April. And technically an event every month of the game's lifespan if you count extra work and big run. Really glad they're making a game more eventful and something everyone in the community can talk about. But since we have to recover from the previous losses, let's win one of the Splatfests that matter the most. Without th further ado, let's go on with the reasons to join Team Power. The first reason is the idols. You might not believe me from the last five Splatfests, but I promise Shiver is my favorite idol. I've explained why my reasons to join Team Gear and Rock video. Although, I think Fry usually chooses the best options, Shiver has the best design and personality. And even the best boss fight for that matter. Shiver probably has a super good reason for joining this team, and I applaud her for doing so. Second is the mascot for joining each team. In the Zelda games, there's a character that is represented by power, wisdom, and courage. Wisdom is Zelda, courage is Link, and power is Ganondorf. Ganondorf is a super cool villain, and he has super cool designs. Some people would even describe him as... <sighs> Zaddy Ganon. His new Tears of Kingdom design is pretty cool if I'm gonna be honest, and I'm just gonna have tons of fun battling him if I get the new game. I don't know much about Zelda, but a lot of people are joining power because of Ganon, so he must be doing something right. The next reason is the color. First of all, the maroonish red looks pretty great. And it's the color for Callie. Also, Taylor Swift has a song called Maroon, so do it for her. Red has always been my favorite color. You can just look at my reasons to join Team Fire video. It also has a very nice, rich, dark shade of red. So I can't say the shading is bad. It looks like a powerful red. We all know from previous experiences that red versus blue matches are always the best. Same goes for green matches, being typically the worst in Splatfest. I think red will lead to the best color combinations. I also think tricolor will look good in this Splatfest, but in my opinion, the chocolate Splatfest takes the crown. I really like the tricolor score gorge. It looks incredible. The next reason is a loophole that completely changes everything. Power could be so extensive, and the others really can't. For example, powerful wisdom, the power of words, something that takes courage to do also takes a lot of mental power. Most superheroes are physically and mentally powerful. You, can do, you can't do anything like this with wisdom and courage, and Anything you seek in life could be accomplished with one some sort of power. This is why power is the best thing to seek. Next, the type of power that most people think when you mention the word is strength. Punching and blowing up things. While this might not be the most mature form of heroism, it is definitely the most badass. If you're in a fight and you're not gonna go, according to my calculations, if I dodge at this exact time, I can win this. And courage can just be boiled down into running into situations you cannot be good at. Perfectionism is unhealthy, but courage to an extent isn't always a good thing. Sometimes you just gotta not do anything. This advice does not apply to bullying. Speaking of bullying, just kidding. This reason is that power socially and the power of words is very important. By being powerful with your words, you could get a job, debate with other people, and negotiate to get things you want, and have power in social settings. You can say you need wisdom and courage to do these things, but you wouldn't call it really establishing courage, more establishing power. Next, we are not the most popular team. We're the underdogs for once. Ever since the last Splatfest, the most popular team won. And sadly, I wasn't on the team that broke this streak. But now it means we finally get a chance if we're not the most popular. Also, mirror matches make Splatfest unfun. And joining the most popular team usually leads me to have less fun. So by picking a not so popular team, we're having more fun. This means whatever you do, don't pick wisdom. 
they change the odds of Splatfest, so the most popular team is awarded less points for winning, and the team that wins tricolor is awarded more. Last Splatfest, I didn't get any tricolor matches with other teams. I played 20, all 24 hours of it. I would say I got less than 10. This means power will be the most fun. Next, it took a lot of power to make this video. It was announced while I was on a flight, and then I had to power, haha, through school projects and not being able to be at home and write and record this video. So, do it for me. The last reason is, with great power comes great responsibility. Spider-Man, baby! It's time to join Team Power! Thank you for watching this video. This Splatfest will start on May 5th, 2023, and will end May 7th, 2023. The tricolor stage will be a heavily modified version of Scorch Force, made to look like a Triforce. This may even mean there will be three players on each team. Check the link in my description for a poll for the next video. I hope to see you there, and I hope to see you on Team Power! This next action is for Team Power only. So if you're not on Team Power, you can just come slowly along by. It's okay. If you're on Team Wisdom or Courage, bye. I figured it out. The best way that power can win the Splatfest. We need powerful weapons that get up all in your face like shooters. I say we all get the best objective weapon in the game, the Splash-O-Matic. We all make meme teams of all splash o -matics. and if we get 4 splash o -matics, we get more clout for winning the game, and if we get an 100 times match, we can just spam crab tanks. That's my opinion on it, but who knows. For tricolor, there's another strategy. We need Booyah Bombs and Krakens. Those are two specials that work with each other perfectly. If you're get if the person that is going to get the Ultra Signal, Right before they get it, they throw a Booyah Bomb right at the Ultra Signal, and then, by the time the Booyah Bomb is done doing its explosion little thing, you'll already have the Ultra Signal. And if that's not enough, your teammate with a Kraken will just go jumping up and down, up and down, up and down, and that means they can't hit you, they'll be hitting the Invincible Kraken instead. It worked last time, and it might work again. So, let's do it! Team Power!